Felicity from Get Your Rock Out here with a couple of the guys from Lord Vulture. How are you today? We're doing great. We had a great show, great audience. Yeah. I mean, the audience seemed to be going absolutely mad for it. A huge encore when you finished as well, yeah. like a big chat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's, it's a pity that on a festival the time is limited and uh, we, we couldn't do an encore, but it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how, how much of an audience, kind of a uh, fan base, did you find, think that you would have here? Did you know that there were a lot of fans going to be here, or was it coming into it kind of not knowing what to expect? Second, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, we've played uh, uh, in Ireland, Northern Ireland before, but uh, this is the first time on this island. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you never know, because we've never been here, so, uh, so it was awesome. It was really yeah, awesome. Yeah, definitely. I knew of some of uh, people from Belgium and some of the, the people from around here, they, they, they contacted us on Facebook to, uh, saying we're, we're coming to see your show and we're looking forward and that, that kind of thing. So we expected uh, to have some people at least uh, going along with this, but to see a couple of Lord Vulture t-shirts and uh, people singing along already was great. Yeah. And so does the kind of response that you had today make you think that you will you will go kind of come back here to do a full tour if you can? Yes, definitely. We have um, for next year, August, we have planned a Power and Glory Fest in Hatfield near London. Uh, and uh, we hope to do a small uh, UK club show tour around it. So uh, if, if we don't come to the UK earlier. Good. Well, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. Um, and of course, you've got a new album out coming out in September. Um, so, how excited are you about it? Are you really happy with how it's sounding? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's uh, si since we started rehearsing for those songs and recording them, it's it's been more than a year, and uh, a lot of hard work is in there. And uh, we're really proud of the album. So now it will finally come on on Muscle Lame Records in uh, September, September 12th, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the responses of the media and of the fans. And, uh, and on the, the couple of songs we played live already, the, the response was really positive. So, yeah, we're, we're stoked and we, we can't wait. Just a little more than a month and then, uh, yeah. It's just that horrible like time beforehand where everything's ready and you just want to, you know, let it go out. But yeah, yeah, but, but things take time. Eh? When, when you finish recording first, there's the mixing and mastering, producing promos, uh, connecting to the labels and then finishing all of that and finally you get your uh, your record deal but then there's time for promotion uh, other preparations and soon after you finish recording it it's still another year before it actually gets out so. yeah, but not long now <laughs> yeah not long now not long now so brilliant um, and will you be touring on the back of that are you planning to, to tour lots when that's been released uh, yeah we have uh, we have some uh, festivals scheduled in Holland and Germany uh, a Slovakian tour uh, in October, uh, second time we'll go there and uh, many more things in planning but uh, none of those confirmed yet but we're, we're always busy. Uh, basically we, we play about 40 or 50 shows a year uh, in Europe and uh, that's our, also our main uh, rehearsal time. <laughs> yes. And have you, have you come over um, just for today for this show? Yeah, yeah, we in did. The end, in the end, we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we wanted to get some club shows also, but then again, um, some of the venues that were interested were mainly in the Manchester area also, and then, yeah, it wouldn't really make sense, so better to do that another time. Um, and, and time was a bit short, so then we decided, okay, let's just make it a, a relaxed journey, f focus on the SOS festival, have a good time there, and yeah, also tonight we can just stay here and drink some beers because we're. We stay close and uh, tomorrow we head back to Holland, but uh, no rush or no need to save the voice or anything like that. So how long will it take you to get back? Well, we travelled yeah, <laughs> we, we yesterday, I think, for 14 hours, including, you know, like loading the van and uh, waiting for the, <laughs> the ferry, yeah. What? Oh, you didn't miss it? How? Yeah, five minutes what? or so. What happened? GPS. Yeah, and a traffic in Antwerp, and, uh, but it wasn't a problem because we could uh, get the ferry two hours later, but still became later before we got to sleep. And that's a very long, boring two hour wait for a ferry. Yeah. That yeah. was the longest uh, 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 time in, in, the, in, the, in the trip, you know, waiting there because there was nothing. It's just concrete and, and, and fences and. Uh, uh, N nothing there, nothing to see, nothing to do, nothing to eat, only from the machines. Yeah. But it was like, ah, it'll be, it'll, 
pass by soon. So. And was the show? I mean, was the show worth the journey then? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely was. Yeah. I mean, it seems to me as though kind of everybody was really, really excited to have you here, and the audience just seemed to love it. And so now I really, really hope that we'll kind of see you back here very soon. That would be that would be great. Yeah. We're, we will be back for sure. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. It has been a real pleasure. Um, and yeah, I'm sure that we'll see you back over here before too long. Yeah. Okay. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs>